Look Tax TV. Hope we're all okay. Hope we're all good. Um, a win. Another win. Another goal by Adam Phillips. So I'm going to be going through the player ratings. Let me know your thoughts. Get to see people as well. I uh, saw quite a few. I saw James Dale, Caleb, uh, quite a few people I, 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 I did see. A bit poor conditions with the, with the weather. But having said that, I felt confident going into this. I did predict 3 0. I'll take a 3 1 though. Uh, I think MK Dunn's came to more or less not part of up, but make it awkward. Uh, didn't really offer us an attacking threat when we did on the one occasion in the first half. It came to one goal for them. But apart from that, I don't think they really threatened us. <clears throat> I don't think Brad Collins really mucked his top, as in a dive and a save. Great to see as well, before we get on to player ratings, Daniel Nardiado and also, I think he took no introduction as well, Adam Amel, a great speech. Saying that you know he never really had a chance to say goodbye to Barnsley fans, um, and it felt you know felt that like it stands the applause and uh, love for him. Also, a great touch by the club as well about the uh, remembrance, at least we forget that we're a good touch by club, although it was after the Remembrance Sunday, it was for Storm game and. Observed fantastically by, by both sides, by both sets of the fans. Uh, credit to MK Dons for travelling up in poor conditions, a, a bit of a round trip for them. And thanks to the Bounds fans for making out well, getting behind lads, and a round of applause for uh, service personnel as well when we're walking around the pitch and walking off. And so that, we'll go to player ratings and then we'll, we'll have a discuss and see where we're going to be going from here. Our player ratings Saturday 19th of November against MK Dons. Brad Collins, seven, solid seven. Um, didn't really look trouble if I'm being honest. Looked confident, more assured in his own abilities and the conditions we have to play in. Apart from this, you know, the only goal that they scored. I don't think he was really bothered. Williams, 8.5. Linking up well, driving, you know, driving forward, assist and a goal. Well played to lad. I mean, since come back into the team, the pace of that is abundant. You can it's all there for to see. And what's pleasing for me is that he seems to be enjoying his game and Nicky Cadden compliments him on, on other wing back side as well. So again for me, Williams an eight point five. And these are just my thoughts. Uh, player ratings and all man of the match will be let me know your thoughts in the comments below but Williams for me 8.5 Captain Mads again solid performance look comfortable it was just captain's performance from him um, he tried you know organising and trying to bring ball out always a threat for set piece corners um, got into a bit of a scuffle you know when Player came up and reared up against him. I said to my son at the time, I said, You've got him reared up against uh, our captain and he's like looking up to him. So, got a yellow card for me. It wants a yellow card for him. MK Duns for, you know, went down as if it had been massive, massive injury. Then he jumped back straight back up and everything in a pop at Anderson. So, for me, he wanted a free kick and he, he was un unlucky to get a, a yellow card for that, uh, Mads. Tom Edwards, 7.4. Again, I think since he's gone back into into the central defensive role, uh, no disrespect to Cundy, uh, he stuck to his tackles, stuck to task, kept in line and shape, always threat with his long throws, we know that. But I think it complements Williams well on the right wing backside, is that when Williams is bomb forward, Edwards is always there to slot in, or as is Luke O'Connell. Luke O'Connell covering a lot of ground as well, off the ball. I noticed a lot off the ball what dictated him. But with Edwards, 7.4, uh, linked up well. Just uh, just another performance period, he can be pleased. Liam Kitchen did what he had to do. Tried to bring the ball forward. Again, 
filled that uh, left wing back role when Kylan went forward. A yellow card, you, you're going to get that. But a yellow card in, a, in an area that not really going to hurt us. Uh, I mean, they were just going to go on and break on our left. They were in their, their half and dragged him back and pulled him like You knew it was going to be a yellow card, but for me, it was a yellow card that means the final had to say, yeah, I'll accept that. You know, he wasn't going to catch up with him. Condition were tricky. They possibly could have hit his on break. Yeah, pull back. Yellow foul. Uh, yellow card, you know, cynical foul, but you're going to take back for the team. So, yeah, some point fire for kitchen. Nicky Cadden, again, whip rate, trying to get in areas and also an assist for goal. And one of these players, me for Cadden, is that starting to see now after his injuries and a bit of a, you know, settling to the side, starting to see now what Freddie can do, trying to get forward and is, you know, delivered into the final third. That is pleasing to see, complimenting Williams, like I mentioned previous. So for me, Nicky Cadden, a a good solid eight. Luke Connell, I thought, personally, when my man at match, there's there's quite a few in here and, it's not a disrespected team whatsoever. <clears throat> it was pretty hard to find one out. Uh, I know the official man at match were Jordan Williams. The, uh, sorry, Herbie Kane. Jordan Williams could have been up there. There could have been a fair few more. And we'll get back uh, on about that in a minute. Again, looking to link up, passing midfield, look comfortable and control in midfield. For me, he had a solid gear, showing great. It's not only his work rate on the ball, it's off the ball I'm looking at. The, the amount of times is like telling people to go dictating players where to be running to or going to. And he's wanting the ball all the time. He's wanting to get the ball and start things going all the time. Bringing the ball out from back into midfield and looking for that pass to his partner or final third. His all round contribution to team on and off the ball for me, he just edges it from a few others but for me 8.7 and 8.7 for uh, local Connell you might agree on this you might disagree on this my man at match let me know your thoughts in comments below because we're quite a bit of debate in Ponting and Um, uh, you know someone saying oh Miller should have got it Kane should have got it look Connell should have been in with a shout but it's for an healthy debate and banter because it's nice to say phew, it's an island this to pick for man at match rather than having oh are we going to pick for man at match because we've listened up to here this was completely different so look connell 8.7 every kane for me one of the best games i've seen him play uh for quite a while to be fair assist and a goal linking up well in midfield 8.5 on game every kane and again it will one of his better games i've seen him play in a red shirt uh doubtless you know, I might, might be speaking on a few fans here. Uh, but again, I think it's the belief that Duff and his team have put in. Benson's on bench and Duda said that, you know, we've still got Luke Thomas to come back, we've still got Mighty Wolf to come back. But look at the midfield like now, the, the area in the midfield. And pleasing to see three different goal scorers as well. I'll mention that. Three different goal scorers. So, Herbie Kane, 8.5. Phillips, another goal. What's that? Three and three. Looking a threat. Confidence is high. It's sky high, isn't it? 8.4. I'm going to give Phillips. Again, I think complementing it well. Fitting that. What's a void? What that area? Yeah, that area where Thomas is at. And we've been wanting, you know, that missing piece at Jigsaw kind of thing. We, look, Thomas being out injured. And at the moment, it, it's fitting Bill. It's, you know, it's doing the, it's doing the job. What's required. Obviously, it's been worked on in training, the system, the style, the formation, the play. This is how we're going to take it. And he's taking it on board. He's been at the right areas at the right time for putting it back at net. And that's what it's all about. Devante Call. Tried. Some point for one game. Tried. You know, running into channels, rolling ball up. Um, they're doing everything, really. R- running up front. Trying his best, a lot of times just won't drop into him, or just you know, ball won't be at the right time. 
but he can't fault his whip rate and his, his effort. 7.4 for Devante. It's an a real frustration for me in, in the first half, if I'm being honest. I thought he might have been taken off uh, at half time. I just, whether we've been out at side for last few games and you're coming back into it and up to speed or what, I don't know. But again, you can't fault him for his closing down, his whip rate. Never gave up, never give up attitude. Always via um, a nuisance, shall I say, for opposition side. A lot, uh, quite a few times, did get getting dispossessed in first half. That was a bit worrying for me. Is that you know, we were more veer and veer about, and then when we lost ball, it sent to be we're on back foot again, even though we didn't really attack us in great numbers. There's always that threat that someone's going to go in, you know, either a bobble or a deflection, especially with uh, wind and rain yesterday. So for me, I'm going to give Aitchen a seven, a solid seven, a solid seven. He did come a bit better in the second half, uh, but I thought personally, I thought he might have been taken off at, in, uh, at half time. But Duff has obviously seen something different, and you know, fair play, and he, he come, you know. It come good in second half. So there my thoughts, my player ratings. We move on. Obviously, it's going to be uh, Papa John's midweek and then FA Cup at the weekend. So that's it now. And I think it's until the 2nd of December for his next league game, a, a Friday evening away at Peterborough. So quite a bit now before we're in the league. We're fifth in the league, you know. Quite a few results went his way yesterday. When you you know when you look, but for me, a pleased performance. One of the best I've seen. I think a performance that pleased everybody, not just fans, but the players and sends the coaching Duff, the, ma- the management set up as well. Everybody concerned because this is what we want. I think the attacking threat that we were offering were great. The final third again. Not scoring goals, but goals coming from other areas. So that's pleasing to see as well. And it's what someone said to me when we're having a, a drink, is that we're missing that man up front who was going to be nailing that spot and saying, yeah, I want to be the talisman, I want to be the 20 goal, I want to be 15 goal striker. And who knows, come January, add that bit of, that bit of quality, that bit of more competition. And oh, push on for that a bit more. Who knows? We're still in it. Take every day, every game that it comes. Um, for me, I think we're in an alpha position, considering that a strike has not been really put. Uh, what can I say? We've engineered to strikers, and at times we've been, you know. I'd, are we going to play this kind of game? No, I've been at, you know, Ted Hitch obviously picked up a knock. So we've had like Devante Cole and Aitchison. And you kind of think, mm, which goal's going to be coming from? Luke Thomas has been picked up an injury over that game, is that bit of attacking threat. Nah, we went through that blip, we've come through it, and we're fifth in the league. So for me, it's looking good. Room for improvement, of course there is. There's always room for improvement, but a lot of for position and who knows it next uh, next month or two, what players or player may be coming in just to give that bit of the edge and uh, keep us up there. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe and share as you do. You always do. Let me know your comments. I'll reply to them all. Going to be an interesting one, this. Your man at match. Who is it and what swung it for you? One thing left to say, you reds.